Let us see how to find out the resultant of a coplanar concurrent force system as shown over here using the Excel sheet. So here there are six forces F1, F2, F3, F4, F5 and F6 having the magnitude of 10 kN, 5 kN, 2 kN, 15, 20 and 4 kN and they are acting at an angle of 0 degree. This force is acting at an angle of 60 degree. This force is acting at an angle of 90 degree. This is at 180 degree. This is acting at 270 degree and this force is acting at an angle of 300 degree. All these angles they are measured from the positive x-axis. So this column indicates all the forces. Now using this calculator, we can calculate the resultant of nearly 10 coplanar concurrent forces. But as in our case, we are having only 6 forces. We have written all these particular values. So F1, F2, F3, F4, F5 and F6. So the values of 10, 5, 2, 15, 20 and 4 kilotons. So you can see 10, 5, 2, 15, 20 and 4 kilotons. They are indicated over here. The corresponding angles of these particular forces from the positive x-axis. For example, F1 is acting along the positive x-axis. So angle is 0. This F2 is acting at 60 degree. So that is indicated over here. F3 is acting at 90 degree and like this. Then we know that the x component of the force is given by F cos theta. So here we are having the this particular formula is prepared in this particular Excel. So F cos theta. So force is given by this B2. So F1 cos theta. So this is B2 will give this particular value that is 10 cos of this 0. So we have converted this particular value. These values they are in degree. We have converted into radian. So cos of radian of this particular C2 term that is 0 degree. So we will get this particular value. Similarly, the same formula is copied over here. So this F cos theta that is B3 cos radian C3 and so on up to this particular. So all these cells will have the corresponding formulas. Similarly, the Y component is nothing but F sin theta. So again, the force column is nothing but this B2 for the first then sine of this angle is what this is angle which is in degree we have converted into radian so f sin theta will be this particular the same formula is copied over here and we are getting this particular values then summation of fx so summation of fx is fx1 plus fx2 and so on summation of fy is fy1 plus fy2 and so on so here we are having the sum of all these particular components that is summation of fx here we are having summation of fy that is summation of all these y components. Then the resultant is given by square root of summation of fx square plus summation of fy square. So that we have indicated over here. So this square root of the t12 into t12 that is this particular cell. This is summation of fx value. So square of that plus summation of fy square that is e12 into e12 that is this particular cell. So this is e12 square. So this is summation of fx and this is summation of fy and square root of that particular term that will be the resultant in magnitude. Similarly, the resultant in direction will be given by tan inverse of mod of summation of fy divided by summation of fx. So that is indicated over here. So we want this particular direction of the resultant that is alpha in degrees. So it is degrees of a tan means tan inverse of absolute value of this particular term divided by absolute value of this particular term. Correct. That is mod of summation of fy divided by summation of fx. So absolute value of e12 that is nothing but summation of fy divided by absolute value of d12 that is nothing but summation of fx. So in this way you will get the direction of the resultant in degrees from the positive x-axis. So for example suppose we change this particular or rather we add one of the extra force over here. Suppose 10 kN force acting at an angle of 30 degree. Then you will get directly the value of resultant and magnitude in direction. Suppose this force instead of 10, in your example it is 20, then also you will get the other value. So in this way you can put your own values in this particular calculator and you can easily find out what is the resultant in magnitude and direction. Thank you very much for watching and if you want this particular excel sheet you can email me in the link which is given in the description or on this particular video. Thank you very much.